Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is February 24th, 2021, and this is episode 213. Today we're going to take a look at the Marvel previews. This is March Order May Delivery at your local comic book store. And it looks like Marvel is featuring another event. This is called Heroes Reborn. And we're going to be taking a look at this in just a moment. Um, this doesn't really show you too much what's going on about this Heroes Reborn. But I'm assuming that maybe they're going to take a look at some of our favorite heroes of the past and give them new genders, new um, <laughs> races, race swaps, things like that. Okay, let's get into it. We could get a quick ad for Bride of Doom. We'll look at that in a little bit here in another ad. Um, ad for Heroes Reborn. Whatever happened to Earth's Mightiest Heroes? Well, we're going to find out, maybe. Okay, Heroes Reborn is one of seven. Jason Ahrens is the writer, and Ed McGinnis is the artist. And you can see in the May, there's going to be four of them arriving. So this looks like a big project here. Taking a look at here, I don't know if this is going to really show you too much. It looks like Hulk has a, a mohawk. Um, but other than that, I'm not recognizing, here's Mr. Thanos, um, anything really different, um, uh, but we'll see, I guess. Okay, A World Without Avengers, hmm, okay, and here's some more, <laughs> some more interior art for Heroes Reborn within the first four issues, you'll see this, the crazy looking Thanos. His chin, the number of chins he has, looks like it's been cut down uh, maybe if, to about half as many. Okay, and it looks like uh, someone's getting a spear through the chest. And, oh, there was one odd thing in here, and I think we're going to see it here. And it's this, this drawing. It looks, that almost looks like Batman to me. I mean, the way they've drawn it. Um, in fact, they have, like, the... The bat plane in the background, but it can't be Batman because uh, this is a Marvel comic. So more interior art by Ed McGinnis. And here are some of the covers that we can see. I may get, uh, check out issue number one of this, at least the main story. Okay. And so few more. That was kind of cool. That's, it looks like issue number three on that one. Okay, Heroes Reborn, Magneto, and the Mutant Force number one. This is Steve Orlando, who's red hot off that fantastic run of Commanders in Crisis. And I'm being facetious on that. <laughs> Drawn by Bernard Chang. Can Magneto res resurrect hope for mutant kind before it's too late? I don't know. And it looks like there's a variant cover there as well. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we have someone wearing a Star of David um, headpiece there. Is that DeVita? Heroes Reborn, Young Squadron number one. This is Jim Zub is writing this with Stephen Cummings as spinning the art history in it. Then Heroes Reborn, Siege Society number one, with Cody Ziegler writing and Paco Medina doing the art on that. Black Widow and Hawkeye lead in an assault on the squadron. And these are the squadron. That's the young squadron, so it must be another squadron. So who knows what's going on in this thing. Heroes Reborn, Hyperion and the Imperial Guard number one, Written by Ryan Caddy. Michelle Bandini is the artist. Heroes Reborn. Peter Parker, the amazing Shutterbug. Number one with Mark Bern Bernardin is the writer. And Raphael De La Torre is the artiste. And now we get to the Bride of Doom. This is Fantastic Four. 
32, or part one is the betrothal, betrothal. And we have Chris, I believe that's Crystal and Johnny Storm. And we've got Dr. Doom in the back. So apparently maybe he's going to steal Crystal away from Johnny Storm. X Corp. Krakoa is for closers. This is X Corp number one of five. Teeny Howard is the writer and Alberto Foch is the artist. X-Man, Curse of the Man-Thing number one. Steve Orlando writing again. Andrea Brocardo is the artist. It looks like they're getting some little bit of that uh, bisexual lighting going on, on that, right in that area there. <laughs> Reptile, one of four. Terry Blair number is the writer, and Enid Balam, or, yeah, Balam is the artist. Reptile on the brink of extinction. Say it isn't so. Chang Shi is back, number one. Chang Shi versus the Marvel Universe. This actually was a recommend, the Chang Shi Brothers and Sisters arc. Um, there's another arc going on. I think it's called The Legend of Chang Shi, and I cannot recommend that. Uh, this is again by Jean Luen Yang. He's the writer. And then Daik Ruan is the artist, or DK. DK? I don't know. Um, but that looks to be pretty good. I'll probably jump on that one. It's Shang-Chi versus the Marvel Universe. Fantasy Four Life Story, one of six. This is with Mark Russell writing and Sean Isaac C., the artist. Got some interior art there. Soak that in. And here's some more interior art. Looks like we have a Galactus making an appearance. All right. And that'll do it for some of those new floppies that are come up. We're going to skip ahead here to Thanos Quest. Marvel Tales number one, written by Jim Starlin. Now, this is a little bigger book. I think it was uh, 48 pages. What is it? I'm reading that right. Oh, 112 pages. $7.99. Okay, let's go to the next number one. We're, we're, we're concentrating on number ones for this. This is Giant Size Amazing Spider-Man King's Ransom, number one at $5.99. And I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading this. It looks like 56 pages. This is Nick Spencer writing with Rogue Antonio as the artist. Mark Begley is the cover. Moving along here. Immortal Hulk, Time of Monsters, number one, Al Ewing, Alex Pacnadel, and David Vaughn are the writers. Juan Ferreira and more <laughs> is the artist. Al Ewing and Alex Par Par Pacneldo introduced the original Hulk. So that looks pretty good. This looks more primitive. That might be pretty interesting to take a look at. That's looks like it's $4.99 for 48 pages. Or 40 pages, I'm sorry. And moving on. I'm just looking at the number ones. Uh, Star Wars. War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. Charles Soule is the writer, and Steve McNiven is the artist and the cover. And that's a pretty nice-looking drawing right there, I'll say. I'll say that. The Star Wars comic event you have been waiting for. Here's some interior art as well. Let's see if they gave us anything else. Oh, yes. This one I might check out. I haven't done any Star Wars yet on my show, and maybe this will be the first one. Star Wars War of Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. Hey, we know this guy. Okay. 
Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Director's Cut number one, Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. So this has got more pages in it, and I'm assuming it has more sketches and things. Um, sketch variant cover by Steve McNiven, and it's a $5.99 comic, 48 pages. And I believe that was it for our Marvel previews for May. So if you saw something you liked here, you might want to stop by your comic book store and uh, tell them that Indie Comics Jones sent you to put in your order for that particular comic. And so you get that good price. And those are the number ones from Marvel. They tend to spike up, as you know, if you miss out on something that gets real popular. And as always, thanks for stopping by and watching my review. And please like, subscribe, leave comments, if you will. This is Indie Comics Jones from the Temple of Tomes bidding you adieu.